They call it action. Okay? Action. If you have an attitude, then you are inclined to behave a certain way toward the object. Now, I told you this one guy who's a social psychologist, his name was Ben. He, he has made an argument that's worth your attention. He claims that some of us will voice socially correct opinions because they're called for. Some of us will express socially appropriate uh, emotions. But he says they may be a reflection of the times. They may not be a reflection of what is truly in you. According to him, it's called radical behaviorism. You don't have to worry about it. But Ben says, if you really got an attitude, I'm going to see it in your behavior. If I don't see it in your behavior, the rest of this is all smoke and mirrors. You can understand what he means. Follow that? So, there's the three phases. A belief, I, I have an opinion. An affectivity, I have a certain strong feeling. And I'm inclined to behave a certain way. Okay? In terms of self-concept, I think I told you, the most important attitude you can have about your, uh, you can have in your repertoire of attitudes is the attitude about yourself, which you do possess. This was the piece that the student said we went over too fast. What do you believe about yourself? Do you believe that fundamentally you're an okay human being? Do you feel comfortable inside your skin? I, I, I shouldn't say you feel comfortable and down to affect you. Say here again, I'm sorry. Do you believe that you're a decent person? Do you have a conviction that you're relatively intelligent? Do you have an opinion that you're good-natured? Those are what we believe.